what is going on guys welcome back to the channel thanks for stopping in i know it's been a while you guys know the deal if you've already been following me if not you're new subscribers and this is the first or second video you're checking out of mine this is where i like to take a second to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button ring the bell for future uploads like and comment on this video you know please comment on the video i enjoy hearing what you guys think about the builds that i do it's what keeps me uh building and wanting to do some more if you have any uh questions please feel free to ask and i'll answer them to the best of my knowledge you can see from the title we're calling this one a show and tell saturdays because it's saturday and basically that's what i'm doing i'm going to show you guys a little bit and tell you about them a little bit you know, those of you that have followed me for a while now, you know that I used to do Showcase Sundays videos where I would show uh, show you guys a premium casting most of the time. Every now and then I would show you a mainline casting that I thought was really cool or that I just wanted to share with you guys. But um, this video is basically, I wanted to show you guys some of the builds that I've done recently and uh, that I haven't made videos um, for and the reason behind that is just because of time restraints, trying to find the time to get the videos done. And, um, you know, having the time or finding the time that the kids weren't running around in the background screaming and hollering, all that good stuff. But, you know, the main reason is because of the time. You know, I filmed these videos in different blocks and actually trying to find the time to sit down and, and film that little section of the video is the hardest for me and basically it makes the builds take sometimes a week longer than they typically do if I'm not trying to make a video for it but I did not want to leave you guys out of the loop I know it's been a while you know it hasn't been too long but anyway just want to share some pieces with you guys some builds that I've done recently so first up, you can see this is a mainline casting. I've got a Hot Wheels 69 Chevy pickup. And uh, I've done two of these since my last video. First one up. We've got this one. And I'll put this one back up here so you guys can kind of check out. The, uh, you can see I lowered this one a little bit. Which I think came out fantastic, of course. I always like my own stuff, so if you're not liking your own work, I mean, you know, whatever. Anyway, got a nice blue metallic paint job. Nice set of uh, chrome white wall reel riders on it. You guys can see here I did a custom bed cover for it chromed out the uh, the door handles, left the, the chassis chrome, the grill chrome as it came. So that is the first one. I'll try to show you guys real quick. You can see looking through the window there, I did a little bit of white detailing on the um, seat inserts and uh, also some uh, did the dials on the dash in white. One other thing I'll show you real quick, you can see here, I had to uh, modify the chassis to uh, in order to get those wheels to sit inside the wheel well a little bit so that I could lower it. Nothing too major, just took a little bit of cutting and sanding and all that good stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about, but anyway, that's that one. Second up, I did another custom 69 Chevy pickup. Same exact casting. As you can see, I did this one in a Gulf livery. Weathered it a little bit. In my opinion, this one, uh, as far as the weathering technique on this one, I think uh, this one came out the best compared to the other few that I've done in the past. I mean, I did an El a couple of El Caminos that I really enjoyed. Um, gave those away to some buddies on Instagram, but, uh, this one is definitely my favorite of the three or four that I've done so far. 
as you can see got the uh new set of chrome rubber wheels on it rusted it out a little bit not a whole lot to this one other than that stuff guys no bed cover didn't detail anything on on the interior on this one but uh again tooting my own horn i think this one came out fantastic i really do enjoy both of these pieces definitely two of my new favorite pieces Next up on the turntable, got a 71 Datsun 510 Bluebird Wagon. This, as you know, is the mainline casting version. I'm not a, uh, a Datsun guy, but uh, I specifically did this casting because of that nice flat roof, and you'll see what I'm talking about here. This is the custom that I did. You can see that glitter on the top there on the roof. I'll show you a little bit better shot of that here in a second. But uh, as far as the details go, I did detail out that chrome bumper and the exhaust tip on the back as well as the, uh, what I'm assuming are mirrors on the hood and the front bumper there. Nice new set of chrome reel riders. I did paint the interior white uh, as far as the seats and everything go and then just did uh, some dials on the dash which appear to be like the radio, the gear shifter and the steering wheel in black. This color is a metallic of course. Metallic bright red. As you can see it looks pretty, pretty pink. It's hot pink. If I put it in a darker shade of light, it does look a little more red, but uh, for the most part, it's a hot pink, which I wasn't necessarily going for, but I think it turned out pretty good anyway. And I'll give you guys a shot of that, that glitter on the roof there. I thought that came out pretty nice. I've seen a lot of guys on Instagram uh, doing some glitter pieces, but they're doing the whole car the complete thing is glittered out like that and uh, I really liked them so I wanted to give it a little bit of a shot um, not quite brave enough to do the whole casting yet because just that roof alone I mean it, it takes a lot of sanding that glitter down and uh, clear coating it and then sanding it again and I mean I must have did that process five or six times and I, I got it pretty smooth it you know I guess it could have been a little bit smoother, but after like five or six times, I was pretty much done with that. You know, it looks pretty sharp. I'm very happy with it. You can see I got the front lights and stuff detailed out, parking lights, the headlights, the grill, your usual stuff. So that's that one. And then uh, last up, we've got a 64 Chevy Nova Wagon Gasser. Again, this is the mainline version of the custom that I did. A lot of you guys are familiar with this one. You've seen it in the stores. You may have done a custom on one yourself. So, without further ado, last up, guys. There it is. Yes, sir, another metallic. This is a metallic gold, as you can see. I wanted everything to be gold and chrome on this car other than the, the black decals and the black wheels, obviously. So didn't do anything at all to the interior or the chassis, the engine, the exhaust, none of that. Left everything chrome. I just I wanted everything to pop really well. So uh, that's what, what I did with that. You know, you guys can see the decals that I've done to it. Um... Other than de uh, details, there wasn't much, you know. I got the door handles chromed out and the uh, the brake lights detailed up. Nice new set of chrome rail riders on it, some gas or wheels. And again, you guys can see the uh, glitter top that I did. I don't know, you know, just playing around with that stuff. Like I said, I saw some guys on Instagram doing it. I thought their stuff looked really sharp, so I wanted to give it a little bit of a try, and that's what I've come up with. 
But other than that, that's going to pretty much do it for you guys. I don't want to drag this video out too long. Really appreciate you guys checking it out. And hopefully I'll uh, get the chance to do another build video for you guys soon. Or at least my style of build video. I mean, again, other than the time restraints that I had, I just kind of felt like my videos were getting boring. Showing the same old things over and over again. Me showing you the book the before stripping it down sanding it down you know i mean you guys know i'm not even showing the process i'm just kind of showing it in blocks after i've done certain things which you know is okay but again i felt like it was getting kind of boring you know and you guys are probably skipping to the end just to see the final result anyway so anyway if you guys want to follow me on instagram it's dad in the hat d-a-d n T-H-E-H-A-T. -E There's no I in dad in the hat. I post stuff daily. You know, typically it's uh, new castings that uh, I've bought, premiums, main lines, and as well as the customs that I've done. But I uh, didn't want to leave you guys out. wanted to share some stuff with you guys and show you what I have completed recently. And uh, just say thanks for all the support. Thanks for all my followers all my new subscribers all you guys are really appreciate it and as always i will catch you on the next one peace